East wind 10 to 15 miles per hour, with gusts to 25 miles per hour. Sunday, partly sunny. Highs in the lower 50s. East northeast wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 40s. East wind around 5 miles per hour. Monday, mostly cloudy then becoming cloudy. A 40% chance of showers. Highs in the mid to upper 50s. Northeast wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, cloudy. A 50% chance of showers. Lows in the upper 40s. And now the extended forecast, Tuesday, showers likely. Cloudy, with a high near 60. Chance of precipitation is 60%. Tuesday night, showers likely. Mostly cloudy, with a low around 48. Chance of precipitation is 60%. Wednesday, 8 chance of showers. Mostly cloudy, with a high around 58. Wednesday night, 8 chance of showers. Partly cloudy, with a low around 45. Thursday, a slight chance of showers. Partly cloudy, with a high around 57. Thursday night, partly sunny, with a low around 40. Friday, partly sunny, with a high around 49. Friday night, mostly sunny, with a low around 37. Saturday, a slight chance of showers. Partly sunny, with a high around 44. Here's the regional weather synopsis, weak high pressure slides eastward out of our area tonight. A slow moving cold front will move through our region Tuesday through Thursday, followed by high pressure from Canada for the rest of next week. Another frontal system will affect the region by the end of next week. Temperatures will be around normal throughout next week before dropping below normal for the start of the following week. Civil authorities have issued a 911 telephone outage emergency for Cook, Illinois to a page, Illinois beginning at 6.38 p.m. and ending at 12.38 a.m. WGNAM, the Cook County and DuPage County Emergency Management Agencies have numerous reports of telephone and internet outages throughout Cook and DuPage counties. The 911 telephone services in these areas have also been affected. However, mobile service appears to be still operational. If you have an emergency, call 911 on a mobile phone. Technicians will be dispatched to deal with the situation and the problem should be resolved as soon as possible. Stay tuned to this station for further updates. Here's our local forecast. Tonight, cloudy. Patchy fog after 10 p.m. lows in the mid-40s. East wind 10 to 15 miles per hour, with gusts to 25 miles per hour. Sunday, partly sunny. Highs in the lower 50s. East northeast wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 40s. East wind around 5 miles per hour. Monday, mostly cloudy then becoming cloudy. A 40% chance of showers. Highs in the mid to upper 50s. Northeast wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, cloudy. A 50% chance of showers. Lows in the upper 40s. And now the extended forecast, Tuesday, showers likely. Cloudy, with a high near 60. Chance of precipitation is 60%. Tuesday night, showers likely. Mostly cloudy, with a low. Civil authorities have issued a civil emergency message for Cook, Illinois beginning at 6.39 p.m. and ending at 12.39 a.m. WGNAM, Cook County Emergency Management has stated civilians have reported sightings of robots roaming throughout the city of Chicago. Their intentions or their place of origin are unknown at this time. These robots have not showed any signs of hostility or aggression to humans. However, Cook County Emergency Management urges all residents in the city of Chicago to avoid approaching these robots. Local authorities will be dispatched to handle this situation. Repeating, do not approach these robots.
This is no weather radio. Station KWO 39 in Chicago, Illinois, operating on a frequency of 162.55 MHz. Here's our local forecast. Tonight, cloudy. Patchy fog after 10 p.m. lows in the mid-40s. East wind 10 to 15 miles per hour, with gusts to 25 miles per hour. Sunday, partly sunny. Highs in the lower 50s. East-northeast wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 40s. East wind around 5 miles per hour. Monday, mostly cloudy then becoming cloudy. A 40% chance of showers. Highs in the mid to upper 50s. Northeast wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, cloudy. A 50% chance of showers. Lows in the upper 40s. And now the extended forecast, Tuesday, showers likely. Cloudy, with a high near 60. Chance of precipitation is 60%. Tuesday night, showers likely. Mostly cloudy, with a low around 48. Chance of precipitation is 60%. Wednesday, 8 chance of showers. Mostly cloudy, with a high around 58. Wednesday night, 8 chance of showers. Partly cloudy, with a low around 45. Thursday, a slight chance of showers. Partly cloudy, with a high around 57. Thursday night, partly sunny, with a low around 40. Friday, partly sunny, with a high around 49. Friday night, mostly sunny, with a low around 37. Saturday, a slight chance of showers. Partly sunny, with a high around 44. Here's the regional weather synopsis. Weak high pressure slides eastward out of our area tonight. A slow moving cold. Civil danger for the city of Chicago. The following message is transmitted at the request of Cook County Emergency Management. Dangerous robots attacking residents in the city of Chicago. Civilians and local law enforcement reported robots, who were roaming around the city nearly an hour ago have begun attacking residents. Several injuries and fatalities have been reported due to these robots. It has been reported, that these robots have originated from Chuck E. Cheese in DuPage County and Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria in Lake County. These robots are believed to have a form of artificial intelligence and are capable of ambushing and tackling citizens. Residents in the city of Chicago are requested to seek shelter in a sturdy building now. Lock all doors and windows. If you have armed intervention, use it if necessary. The National Guard will be dispatched shortly to handle this situation. in Odell, Illinois, operating on a frequency of 162.45 MHz. Here is the local forecast, tonight, cloudy. Patchy fog after 9 p.m. lows in the lower 40s. East wind around 10 miles per hour. Sunday, partly cloudy. High around 50. East northeast wind around 5 miles per hour. Sunday night, mostly clear. Low around 40. East wind around 5 miles per hour. Monday, mostly cloudy then becoming cloudy. A 30% chance of showers. Highs in the mid 50s. Northeast wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Monday night, cloudy. A 40% chance of showers. Lows in the lower 40s. And now the extended forecast. Tuesday, 8 chance of showers. Cloudy, with a high near 58. Chance of precipitation is 50%. Tuesday night, showers likely. Mostly cloudy, with a low around 43. Chance of precipitation is 60%. Wednesday, 8 chance of showers. Mostly cloudy, with a high around 56. Wednesday night, a slight chance of showers. Partly cloudy, with a low around 43. Thursday, partly cloudy, with a high around 53. Thursday night, partly sunny, with a low around 38. Friday, partly sunny, with a high around 43. Friday night, 
mostly sunny, with a low around 35. Saturday, partly cloudy, with a high around 42. Here is the regional weather synopsis. Weak high pressure slides eastward out of our area tonight. A slow moving cold front will move through our region Tuesday through Thursday, followed by high pressure from Canada for the rest of next week. Another frontal system will affect the region by the end of next week. Temperatures will be around normal throughout next week before dropping below normal for the start of the following week. The following message is transmitted at the request of Livingston County Emergency Management. Residents in the city of Haddonfield, lock all of your doors immediately. The Haddonfield Police Department is searching for an escaped inmate from the Smiths Grove Sanitarium in Warren County, Illinois. The suspect was last seen in a blue jumpsuit wearing a mask. The suspect is considered extremely dangerous. If you spot the individual, call 911 immediately. Do not approach the suspect. We interrupt regular programming. This is a national emergency. Important information will follow. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. An attack against this country has been detected. A unified group of dangerous robots have declared an attack on the United States. It has been reported that they are responsible for attacking citizens throughout the country in the detonation of a nuclear bomb in Los Angeles, California. These robots are believed to be in possession of nuclear missiles. It is unknown what is causing the robots to express such hostility. At this time, the United States government is asking all residents in the United States to seek a fallout shelter now. If this is not possible, get underground and place as many objects between you and the outdoors. Once in your shelter, do not leave your shelter unless an all clear is given. Stay tuned to stations for your local area for further details. Stand by for this message. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast and cable system shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air to provide news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WGNAM. We will continue to serve the Chicago area. If you are not in this local area, you should now tune to stations serving your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the Chicago area. Do not use your telephone. Telephone lines should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. This is WBBMAM. If you have just tuned in, the United States government has declared a national emergency for the United States. The United States government is encouraging all residents in the United States, including residents in the city of Chicago, to seek a fallout shelter immediately. If you cannot find a fallout shelter, get underground and place as many objects between you and the outdoors. At this time, we do not have any news from Los Angeles about a nuclear explosion that occurred somewhere within the city. However, we have reports that an organized group of robots was seen forming outside the city of Los Angeles. We have no explanation for the reason behind their resistance. The United States government has sent professional negotiators to talk with the leader of message is transmitted at the request of the North American Aerospace Defense Command. Three nuclear missiles have been detected over the United States. Current estimates state that they are headed for the following cities, Seattle, Chicago, and Baltimore. It is predicted that a nuclear missile will impact the city of Chicago in the next 10 minutes. Anyone within a 100-mile radius of Chicago should be in a fallout shelter now. If you cannot find a fallout shelter, get underground and place as many objects between you and the outdoors. Do not leave shelter until an all-clear is given. Have a battery-operated radio with you and tuned to stations serving your local area for further details. 
Repeating, anyone within a 100 mile radius of Chicago must seek a fallout shelter now. As you may have just heard, three nuclear missiles have been launched and are headed for Seattle, Baltimore, and one is headed for the city of Chicago. If you have not found a fallout shelter yet, find one now or head underground and place as many objects between you and the outdoors. Once the nuclear missile lands, the EMP or electric magnetic pulse will knock out power to most electronic devices. We will try to stay on the air as long as possible. If you have just tuned in, a nuclear missile is headed for the city of Chicago in the next 10 minutes. Seek a fallout shelter now. Have a battery-operated radio with you in your shelter. We have just received news that the president will be evacuated to a safe location. He is expected to be speaking on all channels in an hour or so. As for now...